All right, welcome back. We've got new Warhammer Plus miniatures. If you subscribe, you get one, which is probably like most of the cost of subscription because there's no content on the platform. So let's have a look at them. That was unreasonably harsh when I chat. What was that about? Let's let's go straight to the models. First impression, first question. Where? Where was the brief? Oh, unsanctioned goof interrupting me straight away. <laughs> Where was the design brief for this guy when they made Kotiaz? Because this, my initial impression of this, is that it looks absolutely fantastic. The armour looks great. The big old, like, chest plate there with the Inquisition symbol looks fantastic. You've got all the fur around the cloak that looks really good. The cloak looks fantastic as well. The legs, like the greaves and the bits over the shins and all that stuff. That might be the greaves, I can't remember. There's personality here, like there's actual full-on cool-looking personality. Looks super in keeping with the rest of the Inquisitor's stuff. Sorry, the agents of the Imperium stuff. But that looks great. The sword looks fancy, but not stupid. Nice simple melter gun on the other hand. Is that a combi melter? I can't tell. Is it? Okay, just melt a gun. Either way, that looks great. I even quite like the head, and I don't like bare heads for the most part. The alien-looking assassin, assistant, um, I don't know. There's, like, two big speakers going on, so does he just shout at people? No matter what it is, that looks fantastic, and it does very, it, like, that feels very, like, Geiger-inspired in a very good way. Like, that looks really cool. This looks great. Like, this looks actually really good, which also makes me a little bit sad because this is going to be an exclusive to Warhammer Plus subscribers when it's arguably a better Inquisitor than the last Inquisitor they showed off, even though that Inquisitor was Kotiaz, who is a fantastic Inquisitor, except not in the new model form. The weird desiccated hand, really like that. It implies that it's an actual real hand as opposed to a carving because it's in a display case. He's got the book. The book? The book they carry looks fantastic. Again, I missed that on the new Kotiaz because he didn't have a book. He just had a big hourglass. Unless he's timing how to cook eggs, I don't care. I want the book. And this guy's got the book. It looks great. Also, took me a moment, the, the, uh, the prosthetic bionic arm... That looks awesome as well. It's a bit spindly, but I don't necessarily think that takes away from it. I think it just looks I think it just looks pretty cool. I really like this. This looks great. I'm also like hmm. There's a really old model, and I forget what it was. I think it was funnily enough, I think it was for the game Inquisitor. Whatever that assistant is, which we'll find out in a moment. That's reminding me of, it looked like a kind of penitent guy. It was some sort of servitor, it was like running forwards, had a bunch of cables out the back, had like flails for hands. I think it might have been a kit bash actually. It reminds me of that to some extent, which I really, really like. This is the kind of weird like techno, diesel punky, steampunky like oddity that I really like from the Inquisitor side of things. That feels like it's been quite lacking for a while. Stuff like Rogue Trader, the really weird esoteric side of stuff. I love that, and it doesn't get much attention. It feels like they've properly honed that in for that guy. This looks really good! Damien1427. Yes, thank you, James. I don't know why. I, I don't think it's actually that similar. I don't think it's that similar at all. But there's something about the overall styling that just kind of brought that to mind. This is really good. This is honestly really good. I like this a lot. <laughs> Like, why? Oh, please. Please don't just keep this behind a paywall. I mean, everything's behind a paywall. You know what I mean. You know what I, you. <laughs> you know what I mean. Models are behind paywalls. You have to buy them to get them. I realise that. But you, the extra step of Warhammer Plus and waiting for a year, that. This is great. This is great. The mysterious... Inquisitor Ostra... Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Give me a chance. Ostromandius... Actually, that wasn't too bad. Hails from the Ordo Hereticus. Excellent. An uncompromising servant of the Emperor, so on and so forth. Equipped with custom armour and wielding a force sword. An infernal pistol. Ah, not a power sword, a force sword. Okay, cool. Inferno pistol, not melter. I mean, it's the set. Whatever. It looks the same. 
Ostromandius gets an imposing start to the battlefield. He's accompanied by a floating Voskull, yeah. And the mysterious Stentor I-52. A bizarre character who can unleash deafening tirades of bombastic oration. That should be the tagline for this channel. Deafening tirades of bombastic oration. <laughs> Kirioth TV 2024. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's have a look at... Ooh. Marshall Ashfield and Squire Udo, forged in the military academies of their home cities and further tempered in the fires of battle, free guild marshals and sound technicians. Yeah, excellent. They were accompanied by squires who they used to relay orders across the battlefield. This squire is staring at a bottle of something. How efficient is he on the field of battle? Is it booze? <laughs> is he got a bottle of tequila? Is that what he's got? Because if that's the case, probably not so great at relaying orders. This is difficult. This is difficult because the Free Guild Marshals all look fantastic. Named, unnamed, random, just some pleb in armour. Like, they all look great because the Cities of Sigmar range is a solid 10 out of 10 all day, every day, no matter the circumstances. So, I kind of feel like this one... There's less of an uphill battle because he looks like a free guild marshal and free guild marshals are class. So it's like, yeah, of course he looks good. Of course he looks good. Look at him. Also, <laughs> so, wait, the squire has got a pistol in one hand. He's got another, is that another pistol in a holster on the back? He's got a rifle of some kind, or a musket, or whatever, strapped on the other side of the backpack. The Free Guild <laughs> General is holding a pistol out of one holster, whilst he still has another one in the other holster, and he's, still got, he's got his hand on a sword. What the hell? <laughs> this guy, what? I mean, this wins. It just wins. The Inquisitor is good, but this guy's got like 800 weapons. Look at him. He's absolutely strapped. It doesn't matter what happens. He's got something to cover the to cover the situation. More guns than a Bane Blade. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, it's so good. So what is that sticking out above his shoulder? What is that? It looks like a... Is that like a broken skull? With a like bit of metal over the top of it, I think it might be. I think it might be that. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, we need alternate angles, and we're not we're not getting them. Although weirdly, I can see it a bit better there. Okay, yeah, no, it is. It's a broken skull with a big bit of metal. Is that just a display thing? So they're battle ready. Yeah, for about eight battles in a row. Look at them. Slightly more ostentatious take on the cities of Sigmar Free Guild Marshal, armed with a sword and a brace of pi a brace of pistols. He's got another gun hanging off the pack. Wait, what? All right, let's do the count. We've got one gun in the squire's hand, one gun on the squire's backpack, another gun on the squire's backpack, a third gun hanging off the backpack. So the squire has four guns. The general is holding a gun. He's got another gun in a holster. He has his hand on a sword. And he's also got whatever that skull thing is sticking out of the back of him, which could well be another weapon. I'm going to charitably say that it is. That's hardcore. I love it. And they're getting wasted at the same time. What a pair of lads. <laughs> Look at the bottles. Look at the drink. They're loving it. They're absolutely loving it. Okay, I mean, that's obviously awesome. A weary and wizened assistant, loaded up with potions, unguents, and other alchemical tinctures. Excellent. Excellent word. Excellent word there. Tinctures. You don't see it enough. You do not see it enough. They're simple to acquire. Sign up for or renew an annual subscription on or after the 25th of August, and you'll be able to you'll be eligible to claim your miniature from the 15th. As usual, monthly we'll have to wait 12 months. If the decision between the two is too difficult, you can buy the one you didn't choose the subscription. It's so upsetting <laughs> that, that that Inquisitor is locked behind Warhammer Plus. Look at it. It's better than the na like it's better than Kochaz. It's just better than Kochaz, and it shouldn't be. And I don't mean that in a kind of like here's the thing, All right. This I've said this before, but I really want to get it out there. It's not that Kochaz was badly done. 
in that the technical ability or talent or skill required to sculpt him, like it's not like the person who did it was below par, substandard, not good at their job. They absolutely were. Whatever the brief was for Kotiaz, I am 100% sure they absolutely nailed it. The problem is that the brief for Kotiaz was to make him look boring and round and dumpy and like, I don't know what like. Like he was wearing a metal nappy. And that's the problem. And then when you look at that guy, comparatively, he just looks way better. And it's like, why? Why? But, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Luckily, luckily, we've got this <laughs> legend with his 8,000 weapons. So we're all good. Good. <laughs>